be a little bit quiet because um, I'm in my office and it's actually a little bit later in the day. It's about 1130 um, and I originally wasn't going to vlog today, but um, I just wanted to share some things with you. So I got, I got accepted to do part of this training program through um, the hospital I work for uh, to do a process improvement program. It's called the Six Sigma Black Belt Program. Um, some people may be familiar with it, but um, instead of doing it on my own through, um, I was able to get accepted to be part of this cohort to do it. And so we had our first session today and it's super, super exciting. But as we were going through the course materials and, and everything, I just had this flashback of like, I don't even know, like um, being back in school almost and, um, and just I'm thinking, oh my gosh, it's going to be like being a legit student rather than just doing a couple of training modules. Like I'm going to have to carve out time to actually study, really make sure I really understand the material. Um, it's through the University of Houston. So of course it was going to be a bit more robust than just some um, continuing education program. I don't know why it didn't dawn on me that it would be, be just like going back to being a student. Um, but on the one hand, it's a little bit intimidating. Um, and so I have a, combating a little bit of self-doubt and imposter syndrome right now of thinking like, I don't know if I can do this, but along the same line, I wouldn't be chosen to be to be part of this if I wasn't capable of doing it. So, you know, go on. it'll be exciting from a channel perspective because then maybe I'll get to vlog some of my studying and um, I don't think I'll be able to do um, film during the actual study sessions because that's with another a group with my cohort. I don't think it'll be appropriate to, to do it in that forum, but when I'm doing my self-studying and mapping out my study guides and taking my notes and things like that, um, I think it would be something exciting to share. So, um, so this turned into an impromptu vlog day. So. I have a couple of things I'm gonna do that um, that I originally wasn't gonna film, but hey, when the opportunity presents itself, uh, let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> let's see if having my AirPods in makes a difference with the with the sound quality. So today I don't have a whole lot of meetings. That study session was really my bigger meeting of the day. Let me see. Let's take a look at my calendar. Oh, that's really my only meeting today. Nice. So I can actually get caught up on some things. Yesterday I was at, um, I was off site at another location for a leadership class. The class that was four hours long. So I spent my whole morning yesterday in that class. It was really interesting. Um, I enjoyed the, the concepts that we learned in it. And it gave me a lot to think about on how I want to be as a leader and what commitment I want to make to my team. And there was one exercise that we did at the end it was more of like a reflection exercise that it really got me thinking about what kind of legacy I want to leave as a leader, what I hope um, my, my team thinks of me, what my boss thinks of me, what my peers think of me. So I actually think I might do something similar with my group just so that it helps us getting to think like what kind of team member do I wanna be and how do I want people to perceive me um, and align myself with, with this ideal version of who I wanna be as a professional. I have some presentations I need to continue setting up so that the people who need to add their sections it's already in um in there ready to go for them um I have a couple of reports i probably could get to but if if i don't get it today it's not going to be the end of the world actually if i don't even get to it this week it actually won't even matter so i might just finish i have two things i need to finish i have this presentation i need to finish um, I have a new person starting on Monday that I need to map out her orientation schedule on. So once I accomplish those two things, I think I'm going to try to wrap my head around 
my study plan for this program and if there's time and I have enough brain power then I will look at some of these reports. So it's been kind of nice having a lighter meeting day. Hopefully it sort of stays that way. They're having some staffing challenges earlier this week so I do need to check on my team and um, see if there's anything that they need help on. Sometimes when I have days like this where I don't have a lot of meetings, um, I'll, I have time to help them processing some requests and getting caught up on some of the documentation and things like that. So I might have some time to help them with that. If not, I I trust that they have it handled. But, um, but yeah, let's just go through my day. Today I just have this sweet kale um, salad, chopped salad, and I usually put um, a tuna packet on there for some protein, and I have an apple. I have this for a snack later because I'm going to try to do a workout before when I get home um, with just hummus with some pretzels. Um, I, I guess I, I really should save that for later so that I have something to hold me over because I know that this won't be able to hold me over. And I usually go based on the serving size, so I usually will eat half of the bag today and then this other half of the bag tomorrow. So while we're along the topic of like being a student again and going back to school, and I guess this would be a good time of year to talk about that too because, you know, we're in the end of August, school is starting back up for a lot of people, including some of y'all who might be getting ready to graduate college. And, um, and it's actually, coincidentally, I got a DM from somebody on Instagram who um, stumbled across this channel and was asking for some advice. Layla, if you're watching this, shout out to you. Um, I hope that you're doing well. And it really, some of the things that we've talked about, um, I do want to talk about in an upcoming Lounging with Lindsay when I think about my leadership journey, the type of leader I want to be, how I want to be perceived by other people that I work with, that work for me. You know, what do I want, what do I want the, to be? And, um, and it also goes along the same lines of, what do I want to continue to be? What do I want my next chapter to look like? Because the work that I'm doing right now, it's not something that I want to do forever. I do have other interests and in, thinking about maybe more operations. Um, and as much as I love patient experience and love what I do, um, I just I just don't know if I really see myself retiring doing that kind of work. Um, I wanna broaden my horizons a little bit because patient experience, it is a very niche area of healthcare. And, and while it's extremely important and, it'll, and it will be something that will never go away, um, because it's so niche, I also don't want to pigeonhole myself and sort of in unintentionally limit other opportunities that might be out there. So I am in the process right now of reflecting on it and thinking about what did it, what do I want to do in this next chapter of my career. When you in this and I remember thinking about what do I want to do? Where what is next for me? I, I've thought about that a lot throughout my career, but it was also a big topic of conversation and reflection when I was finishing college. And it's hard not to get caught up in the what I feel like I should be doing or what other people are doing and comparing yourself to other opportunities. And so, unfortunately, it doesn't go away after you start your career. It's something that will continue to evolve and something you will continue to reflect on for probably the rest of our lives. So unfortunately, I don't have a magical answer to how to deal with with that whenever you're feeling like you should be going in a certain direction or when you just don't know. Um, I can give some recommendations on some things that have helped me along the way, which again, I will talk about in another video. But um, I think it is important to think about what kind of legacy you want to leave. And it doesn't even have to be this grandiose concept. It, it could just, for me, what I realized is my North Star as a leader and my one item that 
if I don't do and do well, it's game over for everything else is trust. If you have strong trust and strong influence, you can move mountains. And that was one piece of advice I got from one of my mentors early on in my career. And so I was reminded of that yesterday while I was in this class of, I need to be able to create an environment where the people around me trust me. As one little tidbit that I've learned, you never stop learning as a, as a professional. Um, so I'm gonna finish my salad, finish my lunch, and continue on with my day. I'm on my couch and my phone's plugged in because my battery is running low and so I have to make do with the angle that I can do. Uh, so you saw that I got got home and decided to do a Peloton workout. I, I'm really really trying to get trying to be consistent again with my routine um, especially with my fitness routine so I couldn't get myself out of bed this morning to go do it. So I decided to do it first thing when I got home. Um, and it was good, I'm glad that I did it. I was able to push myself. I had a bit more energy when I got home than I probably would have had in the morning anyway. I'm gonna end it here, my impromptu vlog that I wasn't planning on filming, but ended up filming anyway. So hope you guys enjoy the surprises that came through my day. And um, I hope you're looking forward to maybe some of the studying vlogs and, and content as well. So. Until next time, be a good human. Bye.